And hello everyone, it's Ma Farmer 6 out of 10. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another model modification video. So in this video we're gonna be respraying a Fent tractor to a black a black beauty. So I'll show you now what we're working with, but quite looking forward to this one. So here it is guys, the Fent. Now it's no no ordinary Fent, it's a white one now, white edition. Fent A20 by Universal Hobbies. It says um must be a special edition by some someone um it is by universal hobbies though but um yeah it has a different must be done by someone else be a limited of three thousand pieces um and yeah i'm gonna unbox her now so it doesn't look like that this has ever been out of the box um and it looks quite clean and in good condition. So, yeah, no, um, I already have one of these models, but it's in the green variant, the normal um, color. And instead of respraying her back and back to a green, I think they're gonna do her black. As I think these fence, well, these model of fence in general, I think are going they look good in black. So. Said why not? Uh, it comes with this little leaflet now. Yeah, so it's done by some other it's other company, uh, PES Reaction. So I'm not sure what that's about. Just a little leaflet. So uh, here it is. I'm gonna um, yeah, just the three screws there at the bottom. So this is it here out of the box. Now it's a very detailed model. I'm just gonna go get the green variant of this. So, so here's the the green variant. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's I'm, I really like the green one now. This one's an eight an eight one eight, but it's practically just the same model, really, just different sticker. Um, I got this second hand and few things broken like the top link there's a missing beacon so as you see there's the beacons are different there's missing a screw there side but nothing much really it's still pretty good model you know and the front of them the grill opens up but uh you know i really like these fence and this one might be a bit of a challenge as well, I'm going to take off the wheels anyway, but there's only one screw underneath as I want to take off the cab as them side pillars and the mud guards need to be resprayed. Or I just, you know, uh, try to take off the, like the exhaust, stuff like that. But it'll be hard to get in underneath at the linkage there, so I know it might be worth stripping it off. But, uh, I know, um, yeah, I was just saying there to myself, it's kind of good that I'm doing a black, as if you, if a bit of overspray goes onto it, it won't be that noticeable as the things around it are black, so, not that I'd plan to make it messy, but just if you were to, maybe a slight bit of paint went over on a place you didn't want to, um, it's not the end of the world, but, yeah, I do plan on leaving the, wheel, the wheels silver, but I will see if it looks good or bad at the end. And if it looks bad at the end, I'll just respray, respray them red. But uh, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to investigate more into how I will do this. So I'm going to start by taking off the wheels. Now the front wheels, a lot of people, they kind of get stuck on how to take them off. Well, um, how you do it is you get a flathead screwdriver. And you just... just Pluck them up. Just pluck them up like that. And then as you can see there, uh the screw the screw head is there. And you just unscrew them. So that's all that's to it. Then they just come off. And then the back ones, all they are is a tread. They're kind of jammed in, but they do come out. Um but yeah, the front ones, that's how you get them off. 
Okay, so guys, so I got more progress done. As you have the back tires off, uh, the front ones off as well. But um, basically, why why I took the tires off? Well, basically, um, to get the cab off, which I want to get the cab off, so I can you know spray spray around it properly, and um, not um, try my best like masking it up. It'll, be quite messy if I just sprayed it the way it was but I believe if you to take the cab off you can then take the bonnet off um, from past experiences well that's what I hope anyway on this model but um, as you see there's there's um there's two holes holding the cab uh, one of them isn't unscrewed but on the other side here I have to two of them off you will see there and that's holding in the cab and as you see like the pillars here they need to be sprayed sprayed um black so the top of the cab is grand that's already white but um it's just the rest like the bonnet and all and the side of the mud guards need to be all sprayed black and especially at the back here it'd be quite hard to get in around the linkage to spray it behind there and all so that's why i'm taking off the cab and hopefully you all go to plan so I just need to take out that screw there you kind of need to have a small enough screwdriver to uh, get into that tight spot but other than that it's all grand so I have the cab off as you see and that's work out pretty good um, I'm gonna see if I can drill out them uh, rivets that's holding in the glass and it'll save a hell of a lot of um, time and masking up if I can get that glass out but um, yeah I'm now working on getting off the bonnet I actually have it off but I'm going to show you guys how you can get it off so I was kind of correct and say that to get the cab off you had to get the bonnet off but what I done is flathead screwdriver behind the dash there and you just pluck it up uh, don't be afraid to give it a bit of pressure just pluck it up as there's a bit of glue that holds them in so that's all that holds it in and a bit of the dash um comes with it as you see that's just held in by that little screw there on the left um but yeah you can also take off the front half of the the grill there with the other screw on the left there so yeah really happy you have the bonnet off as it allowed to spray it up quite nicely um i'm gonna see if i can take out that grill as that'll save up a bit of masking so from here on in to have most of it all done i want to see if i can take off the wheels so i can get in underneath the mud guard there but if i can't i'll have to work around it um but yeah, other than that it's just ready to be masked up i think okay guys so ended up getting the back off it was a uh, hard enough I suppose uh, the screws that I had to get into were quite tricky as I couldn't take off the wheels well I can but I am not certain how to get them off I think there's like um, uh, it's like it slides in on these five studs they slide in on or um, uh, splines but um no they're quite hard to get off and if i was to push them hard enough they could crack and i don't want that to happen so um i just said i'd leave it and i got had to get in with one of these small little flat heads but uh yeah anyway it's off anyway and the tractor is in a bare shell um yeah we're getting off the glass in here it's going to be quite hard as they're rivets and they're well let's say they're not pleasant to really drill through um, you could spend nearly 10 minutes drilling through you need a bit of grease which you had to put on the drill bit but um, no they're not that pleasant to drill through so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, see about cutting around cutting like around the rivet with the knife and then lifting off the glass as it's only the bottom the top part there what's holding it in so if I take it out and then when I'm putting it back in, I can glue it in, so it won't look that bad from the outside. So that's what I think I'm going to do there. 
I got the bonnet and all masked up quite neatly so that should look good when it's painted up now um, yeah just take your time with the masking up as it all um, makes the track look a lot better when it's all painted up when it's done right but yeah this will be a lot easier to do now I took the back lights off and the side little things uh, black boxes don't know what they are uh, so yeah that'll be quite easy to paint just need to mask it up and she'll be ready to paint then afterwards well yeah get the glass out and then ready for painting So guys, as you see, I have all the parts painted. You're just after seeing um, spraying the bonnet. I particularly wanted to show the bonnet being sprayed as, um, I don't know, I, I just think it's satisfying to see the bonnet being sprayed as it's such a, it's just a, a piece to get right. If you don't get the bonnet right, it looks awful. So yeah, the bonnet's all on and they got the grills all on as well, the front grill. Um, Danos needs to be placed in properly. The cab is all is all painted as well, and uh, just needs to get the glass. So yeah, the glass will fit in, which is quite handy the way it is. As some models, they're like individual, like <coughs> for the doors and everything. Excuse me. And then yeah, the back arches are all are all uh, done as well. The underneath dry and it's a bit damp, but have a few of the parts in there like the back lights and stuff for the back of the linkage and stuff to fit on but for now I'm going to start um reassembling the cab and then uh should be pr pretty quickly put together from down down on so quite happy with how it came out the paint's immaculate so the tractor's coming together quite well now um everything's back on the cab the inside of the cab bonnet and everything um came together quite quickly only thing that's left to do is put the back tires on and put uh just little little bags at the back or boxes but that's only a small thing um but you had to let, put the tires back on um just soaking them in boiling water so they're real flexible to put onto the rim um but there's a bit of a debate between a few of the model farmers on in the instagram uh friends with and they're saying that i should do the rims uh, red so i'm not sure i quite like it the way it is the silver rims um i think it suits it quite well with the black and then i also want to do a chrome exhaust so that'll even more set it off but um i'm not really sure i think i'm gonna leave a silver but what do you guys think leave in the comments below so this is it here guys in all its final glory very happy with how it turned out, especially the bonnet. I think I got a good finish on the bonnet and every, everywhere else as well, like the back fenders and uh, mud guards and all that. Um, everything turned out like when I was putting it back together, the windows and all. No paint got on the windows, although there's a bit of a splodge mark at the windscreen there, which uh, I'm not sure how that happened. But um, I was hoping to have um, chrome tape to, to put on the exhaust for like um exhaust guard but um i can't get in time for this video so if i do get it and if i do have it on i'll post a photo on the community tab of it complete as i think if i had a chrome exhaust guard it'll set the tractor off brilliantly with the black so that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed this model modification video and i have some very tasty videos from the model modif modification series yet to come like a Ford 7840 and much more like a 
a, a 7 6 10 AP cab. So look looking quite forward to them. And hope you are as well. So hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.